internet is pretty awesome, isn't it? You can use it to network just about anything. It's fast, it's cheap, it's standardized. That's a biggie. And who doesn't love those RJ45 connectors? I mean, they're cheap, they're standardized, and, well, they're cheap. Hmm. Well, okay. I'm not sure I really want my life depending on an RJ45. I'm okay counting on one to stream my latest pop tunes, but I don't think I'd want to be in a precarious situation hoping that one of those little plastic tab thingies wouldn't let go. Or that moisture would get in there, or, well, some serious reliability stuff. (laughs) We need something better. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Off-the-shelf consumer-style connectors just don't cut it in an industrial or high-reliability environment. For those applications, we need high-quality, rugged connectivity that you can depend on. My guest today is Tom West from TE Connectivity, and we're going to talk about high-reliability connectivity solutions for networking. Before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out even more information about high-reliability connectivity solutions for networking from TE Connectivity. Hi, Tom. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hi, Amelia. It's great to be here. I appreciate it. So, Tom, most of my system designs end up being connected with things like RJ45 connectors. But what happens when I'm building something for a harsher environment? Those little plastic plugs don't seem ready at all for industrial use. What do industrial system designers need in terms of connectors? Well, and it's a very good point that you bring up. Those plastic tabs on top of an RJ45 definitely aren't going to withstand an industrial environment, at least not for a long period of time. So those plastic tabs, they can break off with a high vibration. You know, somebody just walks by the cable assembly that that RJ45 is hooked into and can easily just knock it right out and break that tab off. With an M8M12 connector, they are made for that ruggedized, very harsh environment that is out on the manufacturing floor. The high vibration, high humidity, high moisture, a lot of dust, a lot of dirt that could be blowing around inside that building. That's really the key when it comes to the ruggedized reliability with our M8M12 product. The other big thing is the fact that the decreased downtime and maintenance costs, you can't have that on a manufacturing floor. You've got to have a reliable product that once it is installed, it's going to stay installed and it's not going to be coming out without any issues. You're not going to have any downtime. And then one last thing to add would be the lower application costs. The connections with an M8, M12 are made very, very quickly. And once you make that connection, it is securely placed and it's not coming back out. And I think that's another key. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So let's dive in and look at what TE offers in that rugged connector area. Sure. Our M8, M12 connector system really is one complete solution for a customer. You can come in and you can be using a right angle connector, straight connector, field installable connector, and you can be putting that on a cable assembly. We also have the distribution boxes that can be used in any system as well. So really, when you take a look at our full portfolio, it is going to meet most of the needs of almost all customers. So we're not just talking about a different kind of connector here then. We need a whole system that works together? Correct. And as I stated just a minute ago, really we do have that broad range of the straight, the LED, field installable board connectors that a customer is really going to need for their solutions. We've also got the custom cable assemblies. When I say custom, I'm talking about a cable assembly. Maybe the customer doesn't need your standard 1, 3, 5, or 10 meter cable length. Maybe they need a 1.3 or a 2.75. We can do that. We've got the standard available, but we also have the custom available. And then the third piece is the passive distribution boxes. That offers the reduced cabling and really, really simple to maintain and also really, really easy for a customer to install. So it sounds like you guys have done a considerable amount of time engineering on the M8, M12. We have, with our global engineering team, located at different regions of the world in the Americas, Europe, and in Asia, we have spent a lot of time collaborating to determine exactly what our customers need and what portfolio we need to be able to offer our customers to give them that one complete solution. So Tom, tell me how this all fits together and how the M8 and M12 relate to each other. 
So really, when you take a look at the M8, M12 connectors, it actually ends up being a different size, basically a different center line. When you're looking at an M8, it's going to be a lot smaller than when you look at an M12 connector. Also, when you take a look at an M8 connector, there's going to be different pin configurations versus an M12 connector. When I say pin configurations, I'm talking about different number of pins, 3-pin, 4-pin, 5-pin, potentially all the way up to a 12-pin M12 connector. I see. So which combinations and configurations do you support? Sure. When you talk about our M8, M12 connectors, different ones. So when you're talking about specifically to an M8, you would be looking at a three pin configuration and a four pin configuration. But if you slide over to the M12 connector, you're going to have a four pin, five pin, eight pin, and 12 pin configuration available for any customers that are out there. The other big thing when you talk about M12 connectors is the keying features that are on there that are known as codings. So when you take a look at the coding piece, there are A codes, B codes, D codes, and an X code connector that is out in the market. Okay, Tom, can you go into more detail about the codings? I'm not sure I am understanding that. Sure. The codings can actually be pretty confusing. There's a lot of different codings that are out in the market. So if you're using an A coded M12 product, That's really used for actuator sensor plug connections that are being used with a device net, an IO link, or a Profibus. A B-coded product is going to be used for field bus connections, whereas a D-code is going to be industrial Ethernet products, as well as EtherCAT, Profinet, and Ethernet IP. Some others that are also included would be an S-coded and a T-coded product. Those actually both contain power in them. So if you're using an S-coded, you'd be talking about something with motor-operated switches, On the T-code side, you could be talking about a field bus component or a passive distribution box being used. And then lastly, you have the X-code product, which is going to be the high-speed 10 gigabit Ethernet standard product that's out in the market. Ah, okay. So let's get more into that X-coding. Sure. The X-code is the new standard out in the market. Just came out about 12 to 18 months ago. As I mentioned earlier, it goes up to 10 gigabits per second. And that is basically at CAT 6A speeds. The industrial market doesn't really have a high-speed connector out there, and this fulfills that for them. A lot of customers don't need up to 10 gigabits per second in speed. A lot of them are okay right now just using a standard M12, which is up to 1 gigabit, but you've got a lot of customers that are looking for something between 1 and 10, and this X-coded product is the product that would be best for those customers to take a look at and review when they're doing a new install or doing a new application. Okay, Tom, so what are the specs and the ratings like for the M12? You have a lot of different specs and ratings when you take a look at the TE Connectivity M8 M12 product. The temperature ratings themselves are minus 40 degrees to plus 85 degrees Celsius. And then when you take a look at the IP ratings, which is the ingress protection rating, IP67 to IP68. And when I say IP67 to 68, I'm referring that it's splash proof. You would be able to be doing a wash down inside any factory and maybe an automation floor, automation cell, and they would be fully protected. You would not have to worry about any connection issues with that. When you start getting into voltage or amperage, they could range anywhere on the voltage side from 60 all the way up to 630, depending on which coding you're using. And then when you talk about amperage, it can be anywhere from 0.5 all the way up to 12. Again, that's going to depend on the different coatings. And most of those different specs you would be able to find on any product spec that is related to any TE connectivity M8, M12 product. Okay, so Tom, this is great. It seems like a lot of different applications could take advantage of this. What kind of customers are you seeing for the M8 and the M12? You know, it's a lot of different customers, Amelia. We take a look at the installers that are out in the market, system integrators, equipment builders, sensor makers, people that are building IO boxes, the customers that are out there, you don't want to pigeonhole them into just one specific area. M8, M12 connectors are being used across all industries and all markets. And I think, you know, the ones that I mentioned earlier, those are the key ones, but you definitely don't want to pigeonhole it and say it's only being used in these specific customer bases. Got it. So what kinds of things are these folks building? It's going to depend. You know, if you're talking about sensors, you could be looking at anybody that's doing vision systems, cameras, movement, proximity. Maybe they're looking for something in terms of level sensors where they're able to make sure in the construction industry that everything is exactly where it needs to be. If you start getting in talking about 
actuators, you're talking about a lot of motor control, valves, solenoids, lighting systems. And then you can even sit and start talking about the cabinet manufacturers that are doing control cabinets, panel mounts, IO boxes. And then you take it even further when you're talking about those equipment builders, but machinery manufacturers that are building the actuators for the customers that are out there. I think the big thing is when you take a look at some of these M8, M12 applications, they're being used everywhere and customers are using them in so many different areas that we don't know about at this point, but they're all over the place. Just last week, I was actually at a customer and they were actually using it on a flow meter. Fantastic opportunity. All they're doing is measuring the water flow that is going through piping, but a sensor with the M8, M12 works perfectly for their application. Excellent. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me today, Tom. It was great being here. I appreciate you taking the time and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Before we go, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out even more information about high reliability connectivity solutions for networking from TE Connectivity. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from EE Journal. For more Chalk Talks, check out EE Journal's YouTube channel or the on demand section of eejournal.com.